Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. And with that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night if you guys are out there in the world. So recently, there was a post made by Crypto Nagato, and I actually did quote it, and I said, very solid point. Majority of the space is still anticipating a March of 2020 crash or worse. They can't grasp the idea of us front-running the halving, which we already did, and continuing into the end of 2024. I couldn't be more bullish on this market in the short term. And I actually could, like, when we really look at this market short term, midterm, long term, I couldn't be more bullish on crypto for the short term and even the long term. Midterm, we might get some hiccups, right? There might be some problems. But regardless, crypto, if you're not in crypto and if you're not actually actively doing research on technology as well, I think that you're missing out on a big opportunity here. Why? Well, because again, as we look at every single major player out there in the world of finance, business, you name it, guess what they're looking at? They're looking at automation through AI and blockchain. They're looking at blockchain for leveraging um, the efficient transactional and settlement times. The technology here is so game-changing for pretty much everything. And if you're not looking at it that way, you're missing out on a big picture, right? That big picture is where's this space going to be in five, 10 years when we have heavy adoption from institutions, from enterprises, from you know these big, big giants. That's what I'm looking at. But regardless, that's not what this video is about. This video is about predictions. There's been a lot of price predictions around XRP, and we're going to be talking about that. But like I said, I could not be more bullish on this space at all right now. Like this is the most bullish I've been on crypto um, in a very long time. And the reason for that is because where we are at right now. But this was the post. So it was, look how negative the overall market sentiment gets during a normal correction on Bitcoin after a parabolic move to the upside. And someone is saying that we are already at the euphoria stage. Hilarious. That is exactly what I want to see. If you know, you know. And, you know, it's funny because it's just like XRP. Um, I put out a live stream, actually. We uh, live stream for an hour on the channel. For anyone that was here and watched that live stream, then you know these levels, right? This was my chart for XRP. Now, on this chart, you can clearly see that we back tested the trend line. And we actually closed above this on all higher time frames. Lower time frames, I don't even care to look at lower time frames because they don't really matter too much um, unless I'm actively like day trading or something, which I'm not a day trader. I will gladly admit that. I'm not a day trader in this space. Um, but I will say I do trade the midterm and the long term ranges. When I look at XRP, it's still maintaining the uptrend that it's been in. It backtested that, that trend line perfectly. And now we are holding pretty good so far above 63 cents. Well, 62.70 or so. That was the, the key level that I had on the chart. But regardless, we have so far held up pretty strong. Um, and also... Big shout out to Credible Crypto for this as well, uh, because he actually put out a post regarding his position on XRP. A lot of people have been openly talking about XRP now, um, which makes me feel like we're kind of at that point in time uh, where we were right before the SEC lawsuit. Um, and if you guys do remember back in like around October, November-ish of 2020, um, XRP was starting to have a, a really nice run up. So as we really look at XRP now, I think that this is a huge opportunity or I should say this was a huge opportunity that we had when the price actually, um, you know, retest these nice levels. Because now, as we really look at where XRP goes next, if we do have a possible retest of 58 and a half cents, this bottom level down here, which I don't think that we get, but if we get this, do not let this opportunity go by. Why? Because go and look at the XRP Bitcoin pair. Go look at the XRP Ethereum pair. Credible Crypto has been outlining this for a while. Um, I've also been looking into it greatly because there's a lot of significance behind it. It looks as though XRP is bottomed out on the Bitcoin pair, even on the Ethereum pair. And as, as we really look at going all the way back to 2021, look at this, right? So this the second um, arrow pointing is the April 2021 high. The arrow prior in 2020 is right around November. 
like I said, I do think that XRP is right around that November 2020 time frame where, uh, or maybe even a little bit prior to it before the big run. Like that's why I said October, November ish, uh, because in October XRP was ranging. A lot of people were still very bearish on XRP. Uh, they didn't want to buy it because it started to have a little bit of a run up. Um, but regardless, I'm watching in anticipation of a big surge in the XRP Bitcoin pair, uh, for us to actually push up into a much higher price target on the USD pair, which would be a, a, a round and possibly even above 75 cents, which is a big, area of opportunity because once we do get a weekly candle close over 75 cents the next target and the only target remaining is 92 cents before we target the 2021 highs and then possibly even go to a new all-time high but everyone has been trying to predict the price of xrp and i do think that price predictions are a diamond a dozen they do come out um heavily during the bull run as well um and of course i've tried to predict xrp's prices in the past even just recently, I've talked a little bit about um, XRP's price targets that I have in mind, which is very uh, shallow for most people because it's around roughly 5 to $10. And a lot of people are saying like, oh, well, I held XRP for so long for it to just go to $5. Like this is ridiculous. This is the worst asset ever. And the thing is, is that although, yes, we've been holding XRP for a very long time, we've also had that, that long time to accumulate as much XRP as possible. That way, when it does hit $5, we make a ton of money, regardless of if it goes to $10, $15, $20, you name it. But I've been seeing a lot of these price predictions. So shout out to Dark Defender, and we have High All. XRP had the breakout yesterday, as we expected. In the monthly time frame, it is obvious the move has started. Now, again, this was March 12th, before the major pullback. That pullback could be a slight pullback before the much larger expansion. The huge resistance of 66 and a half cents is broken in the daily and confirmed 66 and a half cents will be confirmed for the weekly and monthly timeframes. But again, we need to watch this closely because we did not get a confirmation of XRP uh, closing over 66 and a half cents on the weekly and or even the monthly. And I don't even think that we closed above it on the daily, but we might have slightly. But it's a slight close. It's not a strong close. We have to watch closely for these major candle closes because that's where we will get confirmation of the big breakout. Um, but even then, we still need to break a few levels. It's not, hey, 66 and a half cents is the only target. It's 75 cents and then 92 cents. But we have our targets are closer now to $1.33 mid resistance and $1.88 and $5.85 Fibonacci targets in the upcoming weeks. Expect solid strikes. April will be hot. Have an excellent day. Now, this is the overall levels that he has on this chart. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab. So we have this initial target three um, on his. Uh, so, so this is an Elliott wave theory. This is a one, two, three, four, five. Elliott wave theory, the target three or the wave three will take us to about roughly almost $10. Um, wave four will take us slightly under that $5.85 zone. And then wave five would essentially take us to almost $26. Now, do I think that this is going to happen? No, I don't think so. And it's no disrespect to anyone. I'm just saying, in my opinion, I don't think that we go this high, this bull run. I think that the highest point that XRP runs to this bull run and I know that this is going to make everyone frustrated and mad, is between $15 and possibly $20. And $20 is a, is a stretch. I'm mainly watching 5 to 10 because it's a conservative level, but it's also a level at which we would be retesting Ethereum's all-time highs from 2021. Now, do I think that we could go higher? We sure can. But I'm not going to sit here and hodling these, these, uh, these bags to oblivion, meaning I'm not going to sit there not taking profits, not selling anything into profits at all, um, and just hodling through the bear market yet again. Most people have done that time and time again. Ask them how they feel. Do not be caught bag holding. If we hit specific targets, if we hit a new all-time high, you need to make sure that you are taking some profits off the table. But there has been a lot of price predictions around the same level. Back in June, there was a price prediction regarding a $30 XRP if Ripple wins the SEC lawsuit. Again, XRP got cleared as not a security. And guess what? $30 never got hit. We did get a surge, but it was nowhere near $30. Then also we have XRP. Analyst predicts 5,770% surge to $30. This was back in October. And then... Last but not least, we have this price prediction. Again, this is a cup and handle pattern, $31 target. Um, this is actually the post over here. It got posted by Crypto uh, Bilbuu. I hope that I'm saying that name right. I'm probably not. Uh, zero. 
But regardless, here's the cup and handle formation. It goes all the way back to 2017, 2018. Um, and then here we are right now where we have this downtrend. Three targets hit back in 2021. Um, and then we have the uptrend. There's a lot going on on this chart. I know that's a little bit hard to read. But regardless, we still have that wave target up there. Um, and there's a wave three and also a wave five. But it's around roughly $26 to $31. Now, again, do I think that we hit these levels? I don't believe so. And I've talked about it in the past. There's too much weight put on a lot of these targets. Um, the two things that I put out, right, was this post and this post. The first post is, I truly believe XRP is about to move violently. This was March 11th. The number one thing I kept kept uh, relaying in my recent videos is how I think XRP will make up for the 2021 missed opportunity. Remember, we still hit nearly $2 after being delisted from all major exchanges while in the middle of a lawsuit and having the worst sentiment around crypto. I'm personally looking for 5 to $10, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see higher. Remember to take profits and pay yourselves. And again, price targets, all of that gets thrown out the window when we are in a bull market because the only thing that you want to watch for is this. So I said, I will be selling my bags regardless of any price predictions once the sentiment and the market is telling us it's topped out. Far too many get caught up in certain price targets, but fail to realize that they are just noise. Focus on the top signals instead and you will win. And again, this goes with all of these, you know, Fibonacci levels, um, the Elliott wave theory, because at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is when is the overall market topped out? Because the market topping does not care about any of your price targets it doesn't this is why i'm saying like i'm looking for just five to ten dollars i know that this might seem like a small area to most people but it's really not especially if we're talking about how much it will take for xrp to actually get there it does take a little bit um i saw i saw a lot of people saying like oh well it's only going to take this much trading volume when you calculate that trading volume it's nowhere near those price targets that everyone has been saying um there's a lot of miss misinformation out there when it comes to xrp's price calculators and all that to really calculate the price of xrp it's it, it's a challenge because one xrp can be utilized multiple times especially during transactions um but i think that the best individual in this space that ha has done a very good calculation regarding xrp's price targets and price predictions uh regarding price calculators is um kevin cage he's been very good um but also uh crypto airy and it's mainly just talking a little bit about how much XRP can, you know, go to if we do grasp percentages of markets and things like that. I've made videos regarding it as well. Um, there's a large opportunity out there in terms of XRP grasping a large portion of these markets, but you got to think about this logically. That's more so long term. In the short term, we're not going to be hitting those markets just yet. But like I said, as we look at price predictions, do I think that this $26 to $30 price target is going to be hit? Because even over here, like this is $26, but that's also the same exact target initially here before we hit $31. $30 is the target um, essentially for most of these price predictions, but we heard this back in 2020 as well. If you weren't around during 2020, we heard $20 and $30 for XRP during 2020. And guess what? We all know how that went. But one thing that I will say is XRP still looks pretty good. Um, overall, so if we go all the way back to uh, 2017, 2018. So here's 2017, 2018. Look at the trading volume back here. Guys, there was not that much trading volume here. Nowhere near 2021, which had over 31 billion XRP in terms of trading volume on certain days. And there were some days where it almost hit 40 billion XRP. April 5th, it hit 37 billion almost XRP. And even during uh, February of 2021, we were hitting some pretty high levels. And November is when it really started. This is when almost 33 billion XRP was traded in a single day. Now, like I said, this is why I think that we're kind of in that same area leading up to November. Because currently, as you guys do see, we're starting to kind of build this wave uh, that we started to have um, build back in October of 2020 into November of 2020. So I do think that we're kind of getting into that same exact time frame. Uh, and now we just have to watch and be patient to see if we do get that big break. So far, trading volume for XRP has been pretty low versus you know past and prior bull runs. We haven't gotten to that point just yet. 
back even in July when we had that major spike, it was like 100% move in one day. This was only roughly 7 billion XRP versus a large portion of XRP in prior timeframes. Even back in September of 2022, almost 8 billion XRP in just one day. But mainly what I've been watching for is daily active addresses as well. And also um, just like the volume, right? And you can clearly see where we are at now. There's a lot more activity going on when it comes to XRP versus 2017, 2018. But the, the number one thing to also realize is that there's a lot more projects out there in this space. XRP was one of, you know, a handful of projects. And when I say that, I, I don't mean like 10 projects. There was still like roughly you know, a decent amount of projects, but nowhere close to where we are at now. We're kind of inflated in terms of the amount of projects in the space, which is why we do need a rug pull in terms of regulations. Um, but I do think that XRP has been building pretty nice here. You know, if I turn off um, daily active addresses and even volume, uh, so let me uh, get these off the chart. So you can clearly see the price action where we are at now. Um, again, I don't think that we get that March of 2020 crash. Even if we go back here, we we're kind of building a little bit back in February before the crash. But even during uh, the summer of 2020 into November, that's what we're waiting for. A big spike like this. We haven't gotten that just yet. A lot of people will say like, oh, well, July was that big spike. I don't think it was. This is just more so an event uh, focused price action that, again, sold off eventually. But so far, we've been holding pretty strong. Um, I'm watching to see a major impulsive move on the Bitcoin pair more so than the USD pair. Um, but my price predictions are five to 10. I'm watching and waiting, um, patiently. I'm more so focused on the market though. I'm not focused on price predictions. I'm focused on the market sentiment. And if the market is telling us if it's topped out and you don't have to guess if the market's topped out, you'll pretty much no, because what will happen is mainstream media will be force feeding you price predictions on Bitcoin going to this and that. Um, but you'll also see that cryptos everywhere. Your friends and family members will be asking you about crypto. Um, and typically during that time, we're pretty close to the top. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on if you guys more free content that you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.